feel that beat? Yes, right down to my robo feet. It's a total treat. Guys. On the street. Guys, can you keep it down a bit? I'm trying to play Club Penguin. Massively multiplayer online games don't always have to be expensive subscription-based grinds like World of Warcraft. In fact, using only the power of your web browser, MMOs can be a cool place to just hang out with your friends, crack a few puzzles, or create your own virtual cubby house. I thought it was time to check out a few of the coolest. While the MMOs we're taking a look at all offer members-only stuff which you have to pay for, I was more interested in finding out just how much gameplay you can get by just playing with the free stuff. First up, Moshi Monsters. Beautiful. You start out by adopting one of these funny little monsters like a Zomer or a Poppet before you even have to go through the bother of registering. You can explore by clicking around the very colourful map full of shops, gardens, a big volcano and one or two fun little mysteries. While a few of the mysteries tend to end in a prompt to upgrade to a paid subscription, such as the lure to become one of the super moshies, it's still fun mucking around with what's on offer. There's a lot to keep you addicted, such as levelling up your little monster and maintaining its mood, happiness and health. If your monster is hungry, you can stuff its face with tasty treats like chocolate-coated broccoli, slop corn and mice krispies. Plus, there are some nifty outfits too. The good news is that you can do a lot of customization for free, although the items that you can buy are restricted by your monster's level. There are some pretty good puzzles in the Puzzle Palace, although many of them seem to rely on observation tests like how many lines are there or how many eyes are there. However, the Moshi Fun Park is where the real gaming action is. Here you'll find a whole heap of awesome Flash games. Moshi Monsters definitely has a goopy, gloppy monster appeal. Now, if you've never heard of Club Penguin before, then you've probably been hiding under an Antarctic rock somewhere because this browser-based MMO has been going strong for years now and even has a spin-off DS game. Does it still cut it? Well, the first thing I noticed about Club Penguin is that it's jam-packed with players. After creating my red penguin spawnling, I ventured out into the icy streets to find they were swamped with hundreds of other penguins. This place is still hugely popular. On one hand, there's tons of other kids to buddy up with, but it also made it really hard to see what I was doing. Like Moshi Monsters, Club Penguin has all sorts of little secrets tucked away in each screen, which means some cool stuff happens if you're adventurous with your mouse clicking. The minigames here include things like minecart surfing, snow sledding and pizza making, and they've all been built into the game world, so you play them as you discover them. Club Penguin isn't as generous with its free content compared to Moshi Monsters though. You can't decorate your igloo or dress up your penguin without becoming a paid member, and some of the most interesting parts of the minigames are locked too. Communicating with other players is instant and easy though, there's all sorts of preset emojicons and animations, and of course, snowballs. Take that random person. Club Penguin kept me busy for a few hours, but it seemed that there isn't quite the longevity of free play here compared to Moshi Monsters. Club Penguin might have done it first, but I think Moshi Monsters now does it better. Now, the final game to enter the fray with these other more established MMOs is Mini Monos, a relatively new kids MMO created by some clever peeps over in New Zealand. In the world of Mini Monos, you are a monkey, the sort of monkey who wears funky clothes, has a punky haircut, and cares about cleaning up the environment. It's not that obvious at first what you can and can't do in Mini Monos. It's a case of clicking your mouse around the edges of the screen to see where your monkey can walk to, and clicking on objects and signposts to see what things are interactive. Your monkey can sometimes get you stuck on things, so a few more arrows or indicator would be good here and there to help you navigate what there is to do. I did a lot of clicking, but not a whole lot responds to your prodding. You do get your own tree house on the island, but Mini Monos requires you to pay for gold membership before you can perform any kind of interior decorating, so you'll have to be content with just exploring the island, which at least is home to a few interesting characters and locations. The map of the island, which looks suspiciously like a big monkey head, is a huge help for quickly travelling from site to site, but it is a little difficult to read, all being in one colour. There are a few little mini games to uncover, from a recycling sorting game to a garbage matcher that plays like Bejeweled, and a simple game where you float through the air collecting puffs of wind power. There's even a game that involves throwing monkey poo at a spinning target, although you have to wait for another player to join in before it'll start. 
Most of the minigames were pretty cool, but one or two, like Tic Tac Poo, lack replay value. Play them once and there's not a lot of incentive to play them again. Hopefully more minigames will be coming to mini monos because there's not quite enough here yet and the world in general feels a little lifeless compared to the buzz of moshy monsters or sheer population of Club Penguin. It is a new MMO that's just only out of beta, so there's a little ideas tab at the top of every screen that you can send in suggestions for how they can make Minimoto's a better place. Nice. Overall though, I think Moshi Monsters is the winner for this round of free-to-play fun. There are heaps of other MMOs out there like Free Realms and RuneScape, which we've had on the show before, but right now I have to go play some Dance Central. Alright guys, let me show you how it's done. Join in. Come on, Darren. Do the robot. I am doing the robot. Can't you tell? No. Freestyle, freestyle. Oh. Yeah.